Hello folks, welcome back to another video and uh, this is a incredibly dramatic scene actually. I'm just on my way to Portland International from Seattle and as you can see we're in IFR conditions. In fact this is an IFR flight and I wanted just to demonstrate a particular environment, a particular situation where I would not use motion projection and this is it. My head's in the cockpit Apart from when I'm looking at these awesome clouds, look at this, wow, and look at the icing on that wing there. <laughs> but in a situation like this, you don't need motion projection because really the benefits of having it disabled are that you don't get any artifacts or prop uh, weirdness, uh, any sort of wavering, which is always nice anyway. But also the real important thing for me is that the gauges are absolutely crystal clear. I can read everything in that cockpit. I can read like the top magenta text there, the ETA, uh, the distance. Is there anything I can't read? Let's have a look. Even on the other panel there. Right here. I'm looking right at that panel and I can read everything. I can't do that with render scale at 100% with motion reprojection enabled and this when it's disabled this really shows what the reverb can do it's incredible I mean with the studio form balancer I have on as well oh my goodness me it's fantastic now on the mirror I think it might suffer I think it might look a bit jerky than normal simply because it's not going to be 100% fluid like it would be with motion reprojection so really guys, there's a trade-off. You either have fluid motion on the ground, uh, but a bit of artifacting and wavering, and also less clarity, or you have it completely disabled, and you get a bit of micro stuttering, a bit of ghosting, uh, particularly on the ground. But right now, that doesn't matter. We're in IFR conditions, but the upshot is that you get fantastic clarity. Now the great thing about OpenXR, look at that. Wow, that's just took my breath away. Look at that for a scene. In fact, I can see uh, a bit of blue sky over there, which is good. So really, OpenXR gives you the opportunity, it gives you the tools now to either have your motion reprojection disabled or enabled. Keep in mind, guys, we didn't have these options for Windows Mixed Reality headsets about, well, less than six months ago even. It's a new thing. And those, um, oh wow, look at that. Those options give us the ability to, you know, I guess tailor our needs to the flying we do. And the great thing is, once you've set it, you can forget it. You don't have to keep OpenXR running. You just change it and then head into VR and enjoy your flight. But uh, yeah, I think most people, most comments, it's a bit split really, 50-50. Uh, a lot of people like motion reprojection like I do. Some people absolutely loathe it and hate it. Um, so there are strong opinions on either side. The great thing is, it doesn't really matter either way because we have the option to change that setting. Now right here, this feels really smooth. In fact, you probably won't know if I look on the, uh, yeah, on the actual main native view. I'm getting 40 frames per second at the moment. Um, if I was in motion reprojection mode, that would be down to 30 frames per second, but it would be very smooth. But as I say, the visual clarity in the Reverb G2 is absolutely unmatched. It really is. It's, at, oh, it's just so gorgeous in this headset. And I'm still not used to it, even after all of these flights and even years using both the G1 and G2. So really guys, that's all I'm going to say for this video. Please let me know in the comments how you're getting on. I'm still using 457-30 driver. My Nvidia settings are pretty much default apart from I uh, have my texture filtering, uh, sorry, quality on performance. And that's about it for me. I'll uh, bid you farewell and hopefully we'll make it our destination. I think we're about 11 minutes out, so I'll start descending soon. But you know what? I love this sim for the weather engine and just dipping in, in and out of these clouds reminds me of my real world flying experiences. It's that good. I mean, just look at that for drama. Oh my word. Stunning stuff. Take care, guys, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.